it's Aunt Hillary, and I'm gonna tell you about another rad woman. Today we're talking about Hovita Adar, who believed in free and equal education for all children. Hovita Adar was many things during her lifetime, including a nurse, a journalist, an editor, and a political activist. She was also a teacher who believed that all children had the right to good education, no matter how much money their parents had or what language they spoke. Jovita, the oldest of eight children, was born in 1885 in Laredo, Texas, a town on the Texas-Mexico border. Her father ran a newspaper called La Cronita uh, that published articles in Spanish, many of which spoke out against the prejudiced experience by the Adores and many families who were Mexican and Tijuana Mex Texans with um, Spanish or Mexican heritage. Jovita wrote for the paper, but she also wanted to be a teacher. At 17, she got her teaching credentials and began teaching in Los Holoro, a tiny border town not far from Laredo. Her students were poor and the school was in terrible shape. It had no heat, no textbooks, and not enough desks and chairs. Jovita asked for more funding for her school, but the education leaders in Texas refused to listen to her. Poor Mexican-American students were not a priority for them. This made Jovita furious, but it also inspired her to take action. Mexican children in Texas need an education, she said. There is no other means to do it but ourselves. She organized a group of women called the Mexican Feminist League, they taught poor children and adults how to read and write and created bi bilingual lessons to be used in school schools. They also opened new schools, including one in Los Holos that had heat and textbooks. These schools were free and open to all children. And that wasn't all Jovita did. She published an article that criticized President Woodrow Wilson for sending soldiers to the U.S.-Mexico border. The Texas Rangers showed up at the newspaper office and tried to shut it down. Jovita stood, stood in the doorway to block them from entering and to defend her freedom of speech. Soon after that, her father passed away and Jovita took over the paper. She became the editor-in-chief and spent many more years as a courageous and influential journalist. So remember, speak up, speak out, and stand for what is right. Okay, I love you, and I miss you, and I can't wait to see you so soon.